Alrighty, I have my pen out and my whiteboard app open and we're ready to explore the whiteboard space. So if you're familiar with SmartBoard or the Smart App, anything like that, this probably looks pretty familiar to you. I have my pens along the bottom and I can draw any color that I wish. I also have a little bit of a rainbow pen, which adds a cool effect. And this highlighter, I don't have anything on the screen now, but if I did, it just adds a little bit of a transparency through it so I can still see the text through the highlighter. The eraser tool I can use as a pen and erase any particular part of the shape that I draw, or I could give it a little bit of a long press and clear the entire canvas. The ruler feature allows me to pinch with my hands and rotate at any degree that I would like, and as long as I am close to the ruler with my pen, it'll snap to a perfectly straight line. So obviously a straight line is pretty hard to draw just by yourself, but if you want to snap it with a ruler, you just got to get your um, pen pretty close to that ruler's edge and it'll snap to it for a more straight line. To remove the ruler, I just have to press it one more time. And this lasso tool down here allows me to select any one of these segments. And as long as I close that shape, now I can edit it individually. So I can drag this handle. Whoops, let me select it again. I could drag that handle to resize it. I could rotate with my finger or I could copy, cut it, or just delete it altogether. So I'm gonna to pinch to zoom out a little bit and I'm actually gonna lasso around everything here to delete it. Anything that I do can either be undone with these arrows or redone. And I can also use this plus down here to add more features. So I could bring in an image that I downloaded, add text or a note. I could actually use the camera on the ThinkPad, add a sticker, or import, import a PDF, Word document, or PowerPoint. So I'm going to show you the PowerPoint one real fast. I have a blank presentation that I used. It's just three slides with nothing on them. But I want to show you that you can import a slide individually or select specific slides that you want or down here you could select insert all slides to insert them all. It does insert everything insert everything onto one canvas though. So I could select an individual slide and delete it if I wanted to, but I do have everything on this canvas. This hamburger menu in the top right gives me a few more options. If I select ink to shape, I'm gonna click back in and zoom in a little bit. Any shape that I draw, as long as I close it up, will now snap to a more professional looking shape. Similarly, if I select ink to table, it uses that same function to now create a rectangle or a square. And if I bisect it in any way, it's gonna create a, a table for me. Then I could add columns or I could add rows. And these are pretty cool. They're, they're dynamic. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit just to show you that I could write inside of these. And as I continue to write, it expands with me. So anything that I do expands along within that table. Finally, to export it, I would just click export. And if I wanted to save this, I could save it as an image file like so. It does not come with a file name, so it won't let you save it without naming it. So I already have a test in existence, but I'm just gonna rewrite it and that's fine. And I just saved my first image from my whiteboard. The space also comes with as many canvases as I want. So if I click that back arrow, I have the options to create lots of new whiteboards. So I might choose to have a whiteboard for every subject that I teach. So maybe if I click these the little ellipsis menu here, I'll rename this one to math. Oops. And this will be my math whiteboard. And now I'm gonna create another space for English or social studies or any other subject. So that's just a quick tour of whiteboard. We hope that you explore it. It's a really powerful program um, and has quite frankly, the ability to hopefully replace the smart board and offer a way to walk around the class while still being able to create and customize on the go.